Thanks for checking back in. Today we'll be continuing the videos on Draft Site's status bar by covering the dimension bounding box icon. This feature allows you to quickly insert dimensions in a way that is both uniform and neat. It's operated slightly different compared to the functions discussed in the past couple of blogs because it isn't automatically activated upon selection. Instead, it's inserted after your entities have already been drawn. By highlighting the design that you want to add dimensions to and right-clicking, a drop-down menu will appear. Then, press the Dimension Bounding Box option. Specify Create, and you're good to go. Keep in mind that if the icon isn't turned on, the dashed line around your entity indicating the bounding box will not be visible in the display window. As previously mentioned, the feature is positioned in the status bar, which is located in the lower right corner of the draft site application. Once your bounding box is turned on and is surrounding your entity, adding dimensions is easier than ever. Simply select Smart Dimension, click on a segment, and a selection circle will appear. The circle will be split along your line, allowing you to choose which side of the segment your dimension lies. Likewise, defining an arc or circle splits the selection circle into four points, allowing you to choose which quadrant your dimension resides. DraftSlate will even address previous dimensions to allow for new inserted dimensions, and each dimension will snap to your offset distances, ensuring an organized and precise appearance. So try it out for yourself to do more with your DraftSite experience. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.